Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry for the delay in this, I just had a bit of a mixed up weekend. Um, managed to uh, wreck my Linux installation and I still haven't managed to pull my um, Windows. It's not a partition, it's a separate disk. Inside the laptop it's got two hard drives and um, I've not managed to get that back yet and it's quite uh, it's been vexing me a little bit but yeah, we're back at this. Now, let me just check that what we got on is on. Let's have a little look at what we got so far. So let's just do a little look here so you can look at where we got to. I'm just going to bring that up on the screen here. I just bring this in a little bit bigger so I can see it easier. No, I don't know if you can hear the boiler and stuff in the background, but I'm sorry about that. It starts getting a bit too loud because it is quite a loud boiler system. Right, let's, um, what can I do about that? Letting you look at that. Yeah, I'll put it up on the screen. There we go. So this is a schematic. And we, will, we are into where VR1 is, the 2K VR1. Okay, so you can see that's pretty much dead in the middle. Okay, so we're going to be connecting a 1K to the uh, to the other side of that and of course as we use the wiper it's going to be adjusting from one side to the other of that 2K, that 2K part so let's just do it as it is on there uh, let me just check that that's a 1K yeah that's a 1K uh, now let's have a look what we've got we've got this wiper coming out here we've got the 3 in there uh, no, I know it's been requested we go a bit, but the lens is on this camera, unfortunately, <laughs> and not all in the same place. So you can see that. I hope you can see that well enough. Let me see if I can just bat that back out again and actually bring it in by hand. Let's see if that makes it any easier for you to see what's going on on there. So what we're looking at now is this leg just here. Yeah, we need to attach a 1K to this and then we need to put the transistor here. Just for a little look, see on that side. Yeah. All right. So let's get this doing then. Ah, uh, one case, that's going to come off that leg, yes. So, I could probably just nip that there and drop a bit of solder from there to there. But I think I might extend it out just one. And to keep things nice and trim, just to make sure I've got plenty of space on the edge, I'm actually going to put the, put the resistor in like this. Should I do it that way around or that way around? That's going to be further away from the transistor itself. So it can go like that. Which means then, all I'm going to do is get a little bit of overlap there and I don't have to get too close here because it can be a little bit, uh, not problematic, but just, you know, things get in the way. Let me just point the better tool for just bending this over just so I can get a nice straight bend. There, there we go, perfect. And that can be bent up there. So I'm just going to tack this down. If I just clip that. Oh, and uh, <laughs> so, uh, I don't smoke. I used to smoke, but I don't smoke. And it was mentioned about the tin here, or tobacco tins, but this is not a tobacco tin this is actually a a calming collar for my pussy cats um but do they work <laughs> don't know calms me out of 15 quid low so <laughs> yeah i don't know whether it works or not to be honest with you has he calmed down not really but he's a you know he's a young cat and how much do we expect from young cats? He's calmed down a bit now. I mean, he was uh, jumping off the top of the door frame, off my wardrobe and stuff in the bedroom. 
uh, early hours. I was doing my neighbour's heads in a little bit. Um, I hope I didn't just knock that. Well, that's always going to be a problem there, isn't it? I'll have to pull it from a bit further. Uh, but what I started doing was locking him out of the bedroom. I didn't know what else I could do, so I just thought, what if I just lock him out of the bedroom? Um, then at least he, he can't be in there to jump about the place. Oh, right. Let's just tack that onto there. Right, so there's our, there's our 1k in. That's just where we want that, that's nice. And then we're gonna put a, we've got a uh, capacitor to cross, pump cross here, 100 puff, and our, um, uh, yeah, because we're gonna go into the base of that and that's gonna come down the base of this transistor. Now let me make sure I get the right one. We want the um, 15035 on here. And this is the 34. There we go, the 15035. Now let me just double check that my pussycat's not right behind my legs as I move back because I forgot to bring this down. Uh, let's have a little check and just see where the, where the things are on this. I did actually take this apart to see how easy it was going to be and it's not terribly difficult, I just couldn't be bothered to do it at the time. Um, how easy it would be to put this into uh, green, amber and red. Just swap these two over. Yeah. It's quite nice in there actually, I should show you inside. Alright, so the base is on one, the collector's on two, and the uh, emitter is on three. So base, collector, emitter. Alright, it's good to know. So, we're going to want... Um, uh, the emitter side is going to be going to the positive rail and the base has got to be coming behind us. So I'm just going to move that down like that. And then we've got to get this uh, emitter, uh, base collector emitter, sorry. Is that the way it said it was? Oh, darn it. Base collector emitter, yeah, that was right, wasn't it? I'm going to double check. Hey, look. That's the thing about this, uh, doing these, is to check, check, check again. Especially you had a bit of a rough weekend. And mine, so a lot of people who wouldn't bother, maybe base collector emitter. Yeah, so emitter's on three. And we wanna make sure that that emitter is going to the positive rail and the collector is going to the, uh, to the 1K. Right, so we've got a little bit of uh, messing about to do here, but it's not going to be terribly bad, because if I just bend that down, and then just bend that like this, I can then get that out of the way. And you've got to remember it's going to be reversed now, so base, collector, emitter. Just remember the emitter goes to the positive, and the, uh, the collector's going to go off this way to the uh, 1K resistor. And this base is going to come back to the five, 560 uh, capacity, um, <laughs> resistor. So where can I put that in to make that happen nicely? Probably just about there. Now I'm going to give it a bit more space as we can. So there's just enough real estate really. You know, when you're doing it as amateurish as this, there's just enough real estate on here to do this. And look at that lot, that works out lovely to there. So what I'll do is I'll use one of these preformed, um, if we can, that's a bit long, just to try, to, yeah, try and keep it looking neat and tidy, if we can. And this, it makes it look quite nice putting something like this on. I mean, don't, don't have to, don't have to at all. But I'm gonna see if we can. I was just going to see if we can. Now that does fit there a little bit, especially if I just bend that down a little bit. I'll just bend that down a little bit. I don't think I've got one that's any smaller. Um, or maybe I have, maybe I have, maybe there's something in there. Mm, that, one. that might look a bit smaller than that white one. Mm, will that fit in there like that? 
And if that fit in there with that, that'd be great. But I tell you now that getting these like this is not very good if it comes to making changes, if you find you've made a mistake. So I'd say get it right to start off with. Honestly, you're better off checking, double checking, triple checking. And depending on how, how neat you want to make it look, uh, depending on how much you might want to faff around doing things. But there you go, you see. Now we've connected our base here, theoretically, to the the uh, 560 resistor, the green 5, blue 6, zero, zero. So the 560 resistor. So that's great. So we'll just uh, tack that in with a wee bit of solder. And um, this coming across, there is our 560 resistor. So that wants to go this away. Um, I don't know for neatness now whether I'm going to pull that up. Just pull that up out of the way. Maybe you can see that. I'm not sticking my big head in the way. And I might just pull this up out of the way. Yeah, that's the 560 resistor. And then put that down flat. That away. So that goes across the top of that, and let me show you what I mean. There you go. So it just goes down over the top like that. And do a little, oh no, because it messes it up, doesn't it, on me? You see what I've done there? Okay. So yeah, so we're gonna tap that down there. And we have a, uh, I'm gonna bend this over this way because it's just easier Ooh, like that, this because that's easier lovely and then I'm going to nip that off there nip this off there you can put that out of the way for a minute you might need it again Ooh, nip that off there nip that off there and snip that off there. Beautiful. Okay. It's the smallest bits now to solder. Just that out of the way because we're probably going to need another one or two of those. Right, I think that's so much has come through my letterbox. All my cats fell down the stairs. Alright, so there. They're soldered in. Is that nice and level? Yep. So now we got the um, base collector emitter, so we can put the emitter out to this side. Just hold the transistor because I don't want it to move out of shape. I want it to stay nice and level and looking good. And then this one here needs to come to this 1K resistor. So again, just going to hold that in place. Just pull that down to the 1K resistor. Look at that look. It is just the right length to be doing that, and everything stays looking neat enough for me. Neat enough for me. All right, so we're just going to solder in. And the actual, uh, those leads there, those uh, just, just fit nicely to there. That's good. But this will have a bit of heavier solder, which means I'm going to be soldering not just the tab, but I'm going to be soldering bit heavier like that. It's nice and thick there because we have a bit more current going through and as we get down the end um, the solder will get thicker. As we're soldering, right okay now we also need between this 1k and our base I believe we need a 100p capacitor so we're just going to put that here, uh, between there and there will be perfect. But this wants to be pretty short on the lead. There we go, get that nicely tucked in down there. And on the other side, we'll have that for our base. I'm um, sorry for our, um, uh, the 1K. As we're going to the 1k there, aren't we? And I've just gone the wrong way on that. 
so maybe actually just for to make that slightly I may just go in here in the middle part there and solder it otherwise I've got to try and bridge it so let me show you what I mean so from here the way I've done it is even though it comes out okay but it comes out to this side and I really want to get it into the middle part there I don't know if that's seeable I want to get it into the middle part there just to make it uh, easy otherwise I've got to go left and then add angle so I'm going to put it straight here so I've only got to do one angle So I can get this out without too much faffing. I think then we want to still be there. Right at the right place there, just one more in. Back there and the straight leg there. Alright, nice short leads again on this, this is the capacitor. And we'll uh, get that to go on there. And this one just wants to go onto our base. That's nice. And for this, I'm just going to use this little stick just to just to neaten up that bend there. Don't have to do it like this. I just do it because you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to be looking at this afterwards and criticising myself. Um, whether I could have done it neater, or you know, that's, it's just me. Okay, so. And then we're going to just across there. There we go. And a little bit of solder just across there. Okay, let's just trim those off. Always keeping in mind, pussy cats. My own feet. Okay, right. Now, what's that there? So we've still got this. Uh, I think this is the base of this. Uh, no, it's not. It's the. Uh, it is a collector. And uh, we need to attach that between. Between our 1k and it's going to go down to our mid, down to our collector of this. So right. So there's our 1k. Um, now what side of the 1k do we want to be? I've got to get this right. So our base is coming off here, and that's connecting. Uh, that's off this one. We're talking about this one now. Mustia. So the emitter um, is going to be going off towards our the other side of this, and that's there on this pot. The um, the base itself is on the sweeper side of the pot is the middle on this and then on the other side of the pot there we have our 1k resistor and that goes onto the collector of this transistor now we want to make sure that that 1k resistor and our collector of this transistor are connected okay So the collector of this transistor needs to be connected to this 1K resistor here on the transistor side. So it needs to connect here. As far as I can tell, I hope that's correct. We've got one coming off. We've got that. We just bridged down with that. Cool, blimey. You can sometimes look a little bit there because that one's coming off because everything's so tight here, you see, and then that's the base. 
and this is where we've made that connection from that middle to the 1k resistor so this is actually where we want to be then we want a connection between here and here just double check that and that seems to be about right he says poor blimey I'm sort of spoofing myself here a little bit now because uh, that is the 1k resistor right but for some reason it almost looks like what I've done I think I've made a mistake I think I've made a mistake and this could be a big problem mistake if I have so what I'm going to try and do here is just try and figure out because that comes off here you see mm. that to that to that but that seems to have got the 1k resistor all all in one go <laughs> this is why you got to be so so careful what I need to do is just check between these two joints so what we are we were one with the edge one two three four five six in and six and seven here so the edge one two three four five six and seven that looks like that's connected together Six, seven, eight. Oh. Six, seven, eight. So there should be one K between there and there. Uh, give me a multimeter. These things you're better off checking now, honestly. It's, uh, it may seem like it's a pain, but when it comes down to doing this sort of thing, you're much better off just keeping on top of it. While you think there could be a problem, check. All right, so we've got 1K resistance and there's nothing connecting between them, which is what we want, because if they were connecting, you know, there's, so there is a gap there, that's good. There is a gap. It can get a bit confusing when you're looking at it like this. You see all this solder across and you think, oh, I've made a mistake somewhere, because everything's so close together. Um, so it's always just check, double check, triple check. It's, uh, it's a lot easier to correct things like this or even just get it right in the first place than uh, to try and make a correction afterwards okay so where are we now we're on this emitter um of the collector of here and we still want to come down to that side of the one the 1k so we want to be on this side of the 1k i was right all along but i prefer to spend my time checking and triple checking like i said rather than making a mistake and, um, and it cost me later and scratching my head and thinking oh god I'm going to go through the whole circuit right so that there will do that's how we're going to pin that down we're literally just going to use that piece of lead and bridge across there he says <laughs> you watch this go all over the place now what I try and do it um yeah so let me just see if i can just warm this up just on there first get a bit of solder on that okay doesn't matter it's slightly bent at the moment so i can pull that back through like that it's a little bit warm on the finger when you do that but as long as you remember don't hold it on there forever yeah, all right let's just tighten it up there just tack it down this side. Yep. Tack it down that side. And just drop that in place there. All right, so we got that. We're not quite on the um, on the resistor yet. There is a small gap. I 
that's okay. Because now we can get the rest of that. Now the rest of it's cooling down a bit. I'll do it from this side here. There we go. Try not to leave any sharpish looking points sticking up. So they could act as little antennas and bring noise into your to your circuit. And we don't want that. So okay, so we've got that connected now to this 1K. And that in turn is connected to the um, to the collector of this. Uh, we're in the right place, yep. Cool, blimey, we're nearly there for a couple of, uh, yeah, we've got the 100 microfarad there. This is connected up now. Um, so just look at the, look at the sheet. Look at the schematic. And we can see. Just hang tight for a minute. Just hang tight. Mm -hmm. So we can have a little quick look on here, it might be easier to see on here, especially if I get this thing doing the right thing. So basically now we are connected up to here. So we've just connected this piece here with our little L shape going down here. So, and this is connected here. So now we need to bring something out from this 3.3K um, here and bring it in so we can get the first of the driver transistors connected. Okay, All right, let me see if I can put that somewhere where it can be remain visible until it turns itself off, of course, because it will do that. I don't know if that's going to be any more helpful. I can't see it from here properly because I'm looking through through the top of this uh, thing here, so I'm easier looking at the one on the on the left hand side on the laptop. All right, so let's have a look then. So that's the BC546. And we've got this coming here, going between these two, uh, between those two 3K3s, um, well, say 3.3 um, Kilorem resistors. So from this side of the resistor, from this side here, we need to come down here and connect to the base of our 15035. So because of the amount of um, space we've got, let me have a look. Because after the main transistors, there's some other gummings, but you gotta remember I've got to connect the main transistors to a heat sink. So that's going to be sat here and I want the main transistor sat here. So all the gummings that comes afterwards, all the circuit that comes afterwards, I've got to build it around the side. Don't worry, I've done this before. <laughs> right, so we've got that connecting to there. And now from this, we need it to go down there a little bit. So let's put in, let's put in one of these. I'm just, I think that's the wrong one. This is the 35, yep. So let's put this in, and now we've got base collector emitter, if I remember correctly. Base collector emitter, yep. And so we're going to want this to be this way round. 
base coming backwards. So I'm just going to bend that down gently so we don't want to force it too much because if we break it, we haven't got any spares. Uh, I mean, there is one for the other channel, but we don't want to be using it. We want it for the other channel, which I will build <laughs> off camera. I think one channel is going to be enough. On camera. Okay, so yeah, just get those legs like that. So looks easy enough to sort of fit. Yep. And remember, we're going to be coming through the middle here from this. So we want to be down down here somewhere. Yeah, it's nice that we've got these grids. It makes life dead easy to see what's what's short and what's not. But I've also got to remember what else I've got to get on there. So I don't want it to be too too far out so that I think that should be okay I think if I run a one of these wires one of these now um, well then again now I'm going to do it underneath so it's going to be a lead of something a lead of a nice uh, but now let me just check to make sure that I'm going to be able to get this other stuff in so we want a hundred puff between uh, we're going to have a resistor coming off this collector going down to the negative side of our round that's a 220k so we'll pop that in now just um two two there's uh, two reds and two blacks 220 and then we got the uh the kilo at the end of there well it's not it looks like it's brown but i think that's 220k anyway or 220 ohms i should say duh <laughs> all right mm, 220 ohms so i'm just going to put that in from there to there so 220 ohms just tidy that up by pulling that up a bit tighter there and that wants to come out to there all right and then um and then we want a 100 puff between the base of this transistor and that 220 um say 100 puff instead of 100 pk so that can go directly to there and then we're going to do it on the base there again just try and make sure we get as short as possible but not to worry about it too much um, if I can just use these to pull it through without nipping it let's just put that across there to there oh, I mean that should be okay just try to see if I can push it down any further don't look like, no, don't look like I'm going to be able to not unless I redo that like this um, yeah, I want it as close as I can get it, you see. Close as you can get them to the natural component leads. And there we go. If I just do a nice little wibbly, it looks a bit messy like that. Darn it, I don't want it to look messy. Oh, God. Well, this is, you know... You gotta have patience when it comes to these sort of things. So uh, I know not everybody's got patience. I watched a fella once kick the life out of a printer because he couldn't get it to work. I never did understand it, but, but I do understand that not everyone's got the patience. There we go. So let's just pop that through like that. I'm happy enough with that. That'll do. So he's faffing about. Put that through like that. So we got those bent over. That'll do. All right, then on the other side of this, on the collector side, uh, we can just leave that for now, so we can just solder those in because we've got a little bit of work to do with the power transistor. But problem being is it seems a bit, it seems a bit more compact. I need the power transistors down here. Mm, but we're not gonna worry about that for just this minute. Let's just get this tapped in and just make sure we're in the right places, doing the right things. Okay, so, 
this is our base and that's also going to come down to this here so I'm going to bend this down okay bending that down there uh, that can stay short and that's actually going to move forward off here so just for now I'm just going to tap these down tap them down there so we'll just get rid of this first it'll be easier do it now and get rid of the end of that I don't mean for these videos to go on as long as they do, and I do really appreciate the time that you're giving me uh, watching them, so. Uh, nah, yeah, so that there, we want to nip that off here. Nip that off there. And we can also just I don't see the point in keeping any of that, is there? There isn't really. So let's just nip that off there. Okay. Tighten that down. There we go. Nice. Nice blob on there. And you see that little tiny bit that's sticking off? I'm just going to have that out. Because we don't want that. But we do want a line between here and here. Now, uh, because that's going underneath here, I'm not going to bother trying to fit uh, the wire with the, with, the, with, the, with the thing. I'm not going to do is I'm just going to take one of these, preferably a thick one if we can, and drop it down here and sold that in just like that and then we'll put a heavier track on that once we're done okay so I'm just going to tack this end first so it's going to have to be redone and then tack this end here beautiful and then uh, it's going to make this a little bit heavier here and push that down make it a little bit heavier onto this corner so I've got a bit more of a get more of a nice tap on there and then of course I want to go down here down here connecting this to this that's that uh, Puff, that's okay, that's supposed to be connected, just checking. Uh, there we go. And we can do this down to this. There we go. Okay, not that it really needs to be terribly heavy there, it's only the base. Um, but still, because we don't want it flapping about in the wind. Alrighty ho. So we've got that connected to our 220. That's going to be getting already to the negative 35 rail. That's good. This is for the negative 35 rail. That's good. So we just terminate those like that. Uh, there's our 100 puff. And now off this now is going to come the base. I do believe. Uh, sorry, not the base. It's going to be the collector. We've got to get our 233 these five what point thirty threes in here now this is quite critical this part I mean it's all pretty critical but uh, this part's quite critical so we've got to get it either side we're running a wire remember from this 22k we're running a wire all the way down here it's connected here with this uh, 100 microfarad and it's going to be coming down between the two 33s and as our out point 
as a positive output. This is where the signal is going to be, you know, doing as a positive output. So we've got to get this right. We've got to get it all right, but we're definitely going to get this right. So... Whew. Uh, let's have a look how we're going to do this, because we need one part to be connected to this um, base um, uh, emitter side, this part, and then we need this part connecting to the middle. Yeah, and that's going to be for, for both sides doing that. But we're just going to concentrate on this little bit here first. Or should we get this one in here? and come off this um, collector of the B and get our other driver transistor and I think we should do actually we've only got one left so it's got to be that now let's have a look so we want to come down onto the um, is that one? so we want to come down with this here the base collector emitter um, we want to come down, where's my little, uh, I can't find my little stick stick. So now we want to come down from our base and get onto the collector here and connect to that uh, 1K. The, po the uh, positive side of the 1K onto the collector of the, uh, the BD15, we're using the 150, 135. All right. So that's what we're going to get done there, and then we've got another 220, putting this onto the positive uh, rail there. So let's do that. Base collector emitter. Oh God, I hope it is. Oh my life, have I just done that wrong wrong then? Do you know, I've just done that one wrong. I've just put that one in wrong. I have. I've done this one wrong. Did anybody else notice that? That is definitely wrong. I've done it the old. Uh, I've done it the. Um, I've done it the. Uh, the idiot's way. Have I? Did I? Did I? I did. Um, yes, I did. Oh, I'm sorry, people. I've made a mistake. Okay. We need another tool now. I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. Oh, oops, oops, oops. Let's just double check that. It's, uh, I've definitely made a mistake. I've been thinking about these. I'm thinking I've just made a mistake. Our base is supposed to come down to here. Um to here but that's not that's the collector <sighs> oh dearie dearie me that would have um, proven to be a problem mm, good job it's spotted now eh good job it's spotted now oh get that thing loaded first let's get this over here Oh, dearie, dearie me, that was a silly sausage mistake to make. Silly sausage. No. I'm hoping, double hoping. I could just clear that away easy enough. This thing too hot to remember. This is a very sensitive these things. Alright. Let's see. Let's see if I can pull that up now. I think I can. Oh what a silly sausage. That can cause all sorts of problems when you do things like that. All sorts of problems. But once again it's better that it's noticed now than uh, later on. I just hope that that's wiggly, wiggly enough. Yep. I might have to get a bit more off there to get it wiggly, wiggly enough just to pull it out and just um, just to change that. Mm. Do, 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 do. 
Keep pressing the wrong button. So can I just wiggle that about? I can, I can, I can, I can. Right, that's all I want to be able to do. Right, oh my gosh. Oh right, so let's just uh, rethink this then. Right. Base collector emitter. Habit, you see. Alright, so we want to get this one to go back. Nice and gently does it. It's a little bit easier now, it's warmer. Um, we still need to have a little bit that goes downwards into the hole. Alright, let's just straighten that out. Cool, blimey, look at that. Alright, let's straighten that out. Boy, oh boy. Right, so what we're going to do then is we're going to come off the front for the emitter. It also means that these are not quite in the prime place that they want to be. So we want our base going into here. Um, and our emitter, uh, collector going onto here. So that's the middle one. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to see if I can move this down a bit. That one out that way. Yeah, that's going to be the way it goes, yeah. So if I move this out forward. Got to be so careful with these. The last thing you want to do is snapping at the package. It's uh, That's going to be... Uh, because there's a minimum order to buy these. <laughs> All right, all right, we can do this, we can do this. So we got our base is going to come down to this one. And that's still going to be the same, right? That's still going to be going to the uh, the collector. That's going to be on, going on the collector. So can we do it like this? Uh, I just don't want to shove it through holes now. Uh, that's going to go all along. That can go, that's still going to go for the collector, so we don't want that going on to there. That's going to have to go back one. It's getting awfully close to this, so what I'm going to do, so I'm going to bend this, like so. Bend this, like so. Because I don't want this backing up onto the, um, onto the um, thingy. All right, and then I think we're going to be all right if we just twiddle in this a bit a bit. Yep, twiddling that about a bit, twiddling that about a bit. It's not the perfect solution, but it's a solution, and it's going to work for us. All right, it doesn't look particularly too ugly either. This just turn it round a bit to get this front one down. Okay. All right. The main thing is that the legs are gonna be in a place that we can get them soldered. Right, so base. Ah uh, yeah, we still want that hundred puff going to the base. But this This wants to be on this side of the resistor. That's all right. We can do that easily just by doing that. That is not a problem. That is not a problem at all. So we can just pull that out there. Maybe I should have got to do the cup of coffee before I started this and made sure I was probably still have my head in this um, in order to get be able to do this again. I've had to get my computer working again. Oh, sorry if it's blowing about in the wind. Camera. I've had to get my computer going again and I'm not used to living without a computer ever since uh, ever since I was younger. Right. So let's just double check here. 
So I'm coming off the collector and we will be in a second for this resistor. I could have probably allowed that to go directly downwards for that. So I'm just gonna straighten this up. Just hopefully it's uh, still gonna be amenable. So all my poking and prodding around. I'll just straighten that up a little tiny bit. Looks a bit ugly, doesn't it? But hey, as long as it does the job, right? Because we want that to go on this here, this here one here. That now can go to there. Yep, yep. That just needs to go in here. Okay. That will all just sit in there quite nicely. Beautiful. Right, that means I can bring the you know, the collector directly over to this uh, resistor where it wants to be. That 100 puff is now in the right place. I wonder if I can do anything about that by just making it go in a bit, a bit tighter and I can. Um, and we are still on track with the base coming straight down to this here because the base of this is this first leg, just like it is here. Uh, the first leg. Okay, right. God, please be so. Please be so. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then this can be bent across to go on to uh, a resistor there. So we'll just bend that across now, just to get it more happily in situ. There we go. Just bend that down from the resistor. It's got a little tiny bridge to make with solder, not a problem. And before I do that, I just want this capacitor just to drop a bit closer to the board. So I'm going to get in my tweezers. Like so, just drop that on there, and just hopefully get this, there we go, see, and now I can just drop this onto here, a bit closer to the board, beautiful, and it's going to go onto the base there, and we're going to use a bit of extra length that we got now, just to bend that into a right angle, to be able to do that, I'll just I just hold that there like that. If I can just get these flat on there, just bend it to a right angle. Perfect, and then I can solder that up to that. Excellent, we're on the right side of the old uh, resistor. Goody goody, I'm just gonna tack that there for now because it's way more wobbling about. Just tack that there for now. Right, and then uh, just push that down a bit nicer like that. It's slightly off level, and um, I can now connect this to this. Also, I believe that needs to go across to where's my base? There it is. Right, so there's my base. No, it's not, that's the collector solid. There's my base. And that wants to go down there. Yeah, because that only just goes in and that's just underneath here. That's why I'm having a hard time trying to see where it is. So it's just down there. So I cut it pretty close to the uh to the perf board. Alright, so that should have got that nicely. If it hasn't, I'm just gonna push it up to make sure it has. Alright. He says. That base is not actually connecting. Oh, 
right, the base has connected now. Good. Right, so I can get that over to there. That's going to be the foul point on this. Mm, just double check. Just collector to there. Just double check it on that. to connect here. Oh great. My neighbours decided to start. Jeez. She's informed me she's got a whole bunch of bathroom work going on next week. Or it's the week after. So that should be fun. That should be fun for me. Mm. But then again, I've got some works to do around here myself, so I'll probably do it at the same time as she's having her works done. So everyone's got a saw and a drill and everything on the go. Mm. I know I've got some deliveries today, so that could be it. I've just heard of them. So I can have that. Right, and so the the emitter is going to be going out to one of these, um, one of these. So I'm going to put it in nice. Put it in like this. Something like that. Might need to get in one. Might need to get that one there. Well, I'd prefer if there was a bit of a gap between these two. Um, but I don't think it's going to actually matter too much if I just fold that there for, there for now. And then, because it's going to be going onto this one here, the emitter, I can just cut this back to there. A little tiny bit more off that. That's got to connect to the emitter. So where are we? Um, yeah, so the um, the emitter here is what we're connecting to. I know it looks a bit reversed around on here, but it's don't worry about it. And then uh, the top side of this going out needs to connect to this middle part here before it goes out and it can it can just do it round about here and that won't really matter so yeah but now we're going to fit in the other transistor here um, but I need that to be down here like because like I say I need that to be able to connect to the heatsink there's no point being here I won't be able to connect the heatsink onto it and uh, I should be able to do it. I did it before on the other two. So. I should be able to do it. How long have we got going on here? One hour 28. Oh, my life. Oh, my life. Um, right, I'm going to take a little pause here just for a moment and um, just try and figure out what's going to be going on downstairs. If it's going to get really noisy, I'm going to pause it and come back. Um, might be even easier just to leave it rolling cut out bits Ooh. as I go along later. <laughs> <laughs> 